Hey, what's up guys? Dave with Build Alpha here. Have some exciting new features and upgrades to the software. Um, the first thing is I took the nearly 5,000 built-in signals you can select from and put them in a tree structure, which hopefully makes life easier to navigate. Um, so you can just expand them, um, individually select them or select all of them by clicking on the main one and then obviously um, retract them by hitting that button there. Um, I've also gone ahead and ran a simulation so we can just see some of the new features. Um, I just selected 500 random signals, um, as you can see here. But anyways, um, one of the new features is in this verse random button, I've just highlighted the distribution so hopefully you can see um, the differences a bit better. Another new test is in Monte Carlo analysis. Now we've always had this original Monte Carlo test, but I've added a Monte Carlo resample test. And I will have a blog post and a blurb on the site uh, that explains these in detail. Um, but also what I've done is I've added the um, statistics for the original and the resampled Monte Carlo so you can compare and contrast um, and just get a better idea of where your expectations should be. Um, randomized and 1 through 10 Monte Carlo, those are uh, existing parts of the software, so nothing new there. Um, but the big thing about this Build Alpha upgrade is the ability for Build Alpha to do intraday testing and strategy creation now. Um, we've successfully tested on over 1 million rows of data. So what the, I think that's the equivalent of like 15, 16 years of Globex uh, five-minute data. Um, and I've also added this intraday checks test um, that can be configured in the test settings. Um, so what it is, it's these five rules that Build Alpha will check um, if you select them for any strategy you select. Uh, so the first one, this max PL, it checks if your strategy gets to a certain PL level per day um, that it should stop trading. Um, does that improve performance? Um, again, minimum PL per day. So if your strategy loses, let's say, 500 bucks per day, um, it stops trading automatically for the day. Um, maximum number of trades per day is pretty self-explanatory and start and end time tries to see if there are certain windows of time that you should limit your entries to um, that would improve uh, performance. Um, the coolest thing is there's this button that if you select it, it adds these whatever intraday trading strategy rules you find to the automatically generated um, trading code that Build Alpha creates. So let's say you find some good rules. I mean, only trade between 9 a.m. and 12 noon, um, and you have this selected. Then, when you go to generate code for TradeStation or NinjaTrader or what have you um, over here, that new rule will be included in that code automatically for you. Um, so, I've gone ahead and already ran this test. Um, so, you can see our original strategy, and these are with all of these intraday rules. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn our original one off. I am going to double click, and this selects um, one of the test results from that intraday check. Now you can see at the bottom the rules for this individual test. So it stopped trading at a thousand dollar loss per day. It only traded between 1 a.m. and 12 noon and it limited the trades per day to two trades. Um, and the other cool thing that we've added is we showed all of the test results um, P&L, drawdown, and average trade, so you can kind of get an idea um, on how robust the, the full simulation was um, and that you're just not picking an outlier. Um, and again, there's private videos where I'm going to go over in detail um, how I kind of use this test and this information, um, but I keep that for Build Alpha users. All right, guys, thank you for uh, checking this out, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon.